where Acadiana is. Ali Bear. It is 5-11 on this Tuesday in coffee. Well, it's the fuel that powers this show, Alex. This morning, we are making some coffee. We are indeed. John Tomasini, owner of Jet Coffee, live with us in studio. Of course, Al Abair is as well to show us all the ways to brew your favorite beverage. Guys, take it away. We are super excited. You know, guys, a lot of people watching the show right now, they're drinking coffee. And so I thought, what better way to, to uh, you know, bring our official coffee of the morning show, Jet Coffee, John Tomasini in to well, talk about you. coffee. But I want people to, to, you've got such a great story. Uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about Jet Coffee. Well, it started with a dream. And uh, believe it or not, it failed many, many, many times. Went to multiple banks. Uh, Mark Guidry believed in me and the rest was history. And we signed an agreement in 2019. We opened our first store in 2019. And we're looking to open a third here pretty soon. And this is a great story because you left out the port where this guy worked three jobs to make this happen. Okay, <laughs> this is the American dream, the American success story shows you really, really hard work can pay off. So you, we know your location on Johnson because yep. there's always a line there. I mean, <laughs> this is popular coffee. It's pretty fun. And uh, so, okay, so give us that address and tell us where the second location uh, is. Broussard, uh, 109 St. Nazaire Road. It's mm -hmm. actually just right in front of Walmart. So oh, you're heading okay. that way. It's a great yeah. location. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now your new location, it's going to be awesome. This is yeah. like a flagship store, isn't it? Uh, I think so. You got Dave and Buster's, Top Golf. There's a new place called Small Sliders. There's car wash right there. There's a lot of really fun stuff in that area. And I saw, I saw the, uh, I guess it's the architect drawing. It, is it two stories? Yeah. Yep, two stories. Wow. Yeah. We'll have a floating staircase to the top, and it's going to be really cool. Now, is this the one where you're going to be able to watch the roasting, or is that in the other location? That'll be our first location. We're actually uh, in works right now in talks. Nothing's finalized, but... It's going to be really cool, state-of-the-art roasting center at our first store on Johnston. It's going to be awesome. Now, one of the things I love about your story, one of the things I love about this coffee, is this is, just isn't some beans that he grinds. You went through a pretty painstaking yeah. process to find the right blend of beans. Yeah. I think there was Ethiopian, Brazilian, Colombian. And you were there. Yeah. You, you, we yeah. went there, and we roasted in, in Abbeville right there. You're right. And, so and we're trying to bring that in, that exact, that exact center. But this, you, you really wanted to find... I mean, three different beans together yeah. to, to give you jet coffee, yep. which is what makes it unique. You know? Yeah, no, it, it took a long process. And shout out to Nate Johnson for helping us out. Christopher Pickle as well. Just really good people that I believe God put in my life just to help me to make good coffee. You know? And, I, so. you know, this is what I love about this is the attention to detail. Uh, the hard work he put into it, that's a great stuff. So all morning long, we've got all these different ways to yep. make coffee. Do not go away. You're drinking coffee now. We're going to show you different ways to make your coffee. We're going to go back to you guys. Best day ever. Oh. I don't know. This is yes. so good. I love this. We this are incredibly spoiled. Yes. Can't wait. <laughs> Thank you.